It's night and day. Monday, back again. Yes, we're back. Back in the world of A Way Out. To show you Leo's way out, because last time he didn't make it out. Yeah. Alive, anyway. Spoiler alert, he died. <laughs> so, now we're probably going to do the same to Vincent. So, let's uh, get this train rolling. Choo-choo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Choo-choo! <laughs> oh, wow. oh, yeah, this is funny, too. This is funny, see? Here's something new I found. <laughs> this is what it says when you don't agree to the license agreement. Oh, are you sure? You have to accept the license agreement to play a way out. Okay, we want to decline, because we, we don't want to sell our souls to some weird corporation via some lawyer's legalese. No. No. No, sir, we do not. No. So no, now we say, watch. no. So we have to say, I'm sure, so we can go back to the title screen. But wait. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't let you back to the title screen. <laughs> so you're so trapped in you're this endless yeah. loop where you can never decline the license agreement. Oh my agreement. god. Isn't that you, twisted? Yeah, if you ever want to get out of this game, you have to just accept. Exactly. The only way out of a way out is... Is accepting your soul being sold. Yeah, you either have to accept this license agreement or just close the program, just, cl just close the game out. break the disc. <laughs> And that's it. Because that's your way. Out. It sure won't tend you back to the title screen like it says it will. See, if I go down here, right, and I hit cancel, it'll send me right back to where we were. See, mm. we're still on the side. Yeah. But if I hit I'm sure, it'll reload this page, but it won't let you out of license agreement hell. <laughs> <laughs> the purgatory that is this license agreement. <laughs> Electronic arts, living up to your reputation. Yep. Nothing has changed, I see. Oh, there's no skip the cutscene, huh? What what kind of building is this? I'll go this way. All right. It's a Virhees, a Virhees, Jason oh, Voorhees Virhees. warehouse. A Virhees. They just make all of the Jason Virhees. <laughs> yes, this is where they mass produce Jason Virhees in the Virhees in the Virhees. The Virhees. The Virhees. The Virhees. The Virheeverse. <coughs> Get out of here! You just hit a girl. Go. Don't you do did. anything That's stupid, hard, Leo. Too. Shut up! Just go! I don't want to hurt you, Emily. Just get out! You know I can't do that. Don't yes, fucking push it! This is between me and Vincent! Vincent! Now get the hell out! Vincent. Get out! This is between me and Vincent! I do talk pretty much like a guy no. who's got a gigantic nose. <laughs> That's almost spot on. <laughs> Please stop this. How's it feel to stab someone in the back? I How's it feel to stab someone in the back? I killed my brother. I had no choice. I can't fucking believe this. I'll talk to the captain. We'll reduce your sentence. My you should have opened with that. You yeah. dead man, you piece of shit. What about your son, Alex? Shut the fuck up. Don't you don't you get to say that name. name. You don't get to mention his name. Oh, mention. You hear that, Sorry. You piece of shit? You're a dead man. You're a dead man, you, you piece, piece of, of shit. shit. Okay, it's on. Let's play for real. All right. Total Where? night and day face off. Yes. This is the pitted battle of the century. Where's you? <laughs> okay. No way. I'm out of there. You're not shooting me. Oh, you found a way out. Huh, huh. Oh, man. I hate myself. All right. Let's <laughs> I wonder where that pig is hiding. There you are, you little shit! Alright. Where the heck? It's so hard to see you. I have no clue where the heck you are. Chugger's Town? <laughs> is that in like Louisiana or something? Yep. That Chugger's Town, a... Louisiana. I was trying to, um, snap to you, but that didn't work out so well. There's a way to do that? No, I just... <laughs> oh. Ugh, damn it. Had 
enough? I got plenty more bullets. Yeah, apparently we both have infinite ammo. Not even pull-outs. Oh, you can't get to the other person. It's impossible. Bring on her! Bring on her! Bring on her! Then hear that line. Break all through. <laughs> I see you sprint away. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I actually hit you. I can't you believe it. You did hit me. I'm proud of you, Rob. Thanks. Come out! You're not scared, are you? Come out! Come I out! Wherever you, you are. You can't hide from me. Where are you? Darshi blows. I wish I had like grenades or something. That'd make this much easier. Oh, oh what? No. Did I not hit you somehow? No, no, you didn't hit me. Huh. Uh, I'm confused at my own camera angle. Okay, I'm back on my screen. Oh, <laughs> uh, where am I? Who am I? <laughs> well, for a second Stop there, I was a guardrail. <laughs> I will get you! No, the perfect camouflage. Gotcha. Stay still, damn it! How did you get him, Leo? I didn't know where he was. Good job on you. Except, I'm controlling you, so... Uh, I keep wanting to reload with square. It's not a good call. Um, oh, they show you what the recoil is, so you know how to handle it. Interesting. What how? Um, when you con when you continuously shoot, there's a small white circle. Yeah. And um, that tracks where your bullets actually go. So you can move it around to try and. Uh, I wonder where that pig is hiding. To try and like control your shots. Huh. It's not bad. Most FPS games don't do that. Oh, oh, damn. And scene. <laughs> and scene. There would be so many cops here if we didn't end this pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Within, like, a matter of minutes, this would have been game over. How do I automatically get the low ground? Because you're winning, probably. Oh. Uh, is that where you just shoot shooting me from? Oh. You're like a ghost. You're a phantom. Which one? Space ghost? <laughs> the phantom menace? <laughs> phantom strikes back. Show yourself! There's nowhere to run! Who the heck are you? Man, I don't remember all this steam stuff happening the last time we were at this stage. I knew, like, Steam was throwing me off, but it seems like it's a bit more intense now for some reason. Because I aimed and hit something near you for the first time ever, <laughs> maybe that would explain both of our oh, that makes sense. points of confusion. Yeah, that makes sense. Now I have zero idea what you can think. Alright. Um, well, neither of us can find the other one. It's uh, game over. Yeah, this is good old cat and mouse. Good old Tom and Jerry. <laughs> I'm like a ninja. Gotta find him. Can't let him get away. I'm over here now. <laughs> you are like a ninja. Hello. <laughs> should like live in Madagascar. You'd be able to communicate with anything that lives there. I don't think that would be worth it. <laughs> I don't know. You could talk to animals. I think that's pretty worth it. <laughs> Unless I could tell the animals to hook up an internet connection, <laughs> I'd probably be bored. God damn it! Leo, come on! <laughs> so, hey, lemurs, what are you, what's your Wi-Fi password? 
67. <laughs> so what key is that? <laughs> Stop hiding, you coward! I won't get you! Ha! <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying of asphyxiation. <laughs> Got shot right up the Drop it. asphyxiator. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. There you go. It changed. It's the exact same. Yeah, we're gonna do the exact same. In thing. reverse. Throw your gun! Fucking do it! Alright. Now! Easy. See? It's down. Push it away! Leo, don't do this. Shut up! See, at this point, if Leo wants him dead, knees? he's dead. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> I said on your knees! He has no code that has to keep him alive. Right. How do you feel about this <laughs> Teach my eight-year-old how to use a chainsaw. <laughs> They don't call me Chainsaw Chucky for nothing. I like to shoot people with chainsaws. <laughs> this is the most devastating weapon ever. Chainsaw? Shoot chainsaw bullets at people? Yeah. Yeah, it's like impossible for me to go anywhere with this. Yeah, I'm tapping it really slowly and my guy's like, no problem. No problem. He looks like a cra- the way he's walking, he looks like a crazy horror movie guy. <laughs> like, The Ring or something like that. He's like, Because oh. my guy was moving much faster than you're supposed to move at this point. So oh. he's just like jumping from frame to frame. <laughs> Fire! Let's see uh, the new ending. Don't do it. <laughs> Right in the mountains. That's what happens when you mess with the schnoz. It didn't have to be this way, Vincent! You could have just gave me Flonase. <laughs> <laughs> They'll still do the Broheim handshake yeah. of makes no sense. <laughs> That's the fraternity that they were in. <laughs> Broheim makes no sense. <laughs> Kappa senseless Kappa. <laughs> Wonder if you can not do this part. Probably not. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Oh, he takes the oh. letter. That makes more sense. <laughs> like, rips it up, yeah. yeah. Psych! Oh. Wow, be like that then. I see you. Psych! <laughs> it's off the chain. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Alright, so the letter at least makes sense. That's, yeah. The Broheim handshake is just, just, what? Yeah. That one definitely. Oh, you shot me. Yeah. We're oh, bros. you. <laughs> I'll get you next time. It's forgiven. Yeah. All is not lost between us. Good old TJ's records. Always producing the finest records in North America. I really want him to just like throw it away. <laughs> Rip it up and just throw it on his dead yeah, body. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That would have just made it even worse though, for like the other ending. Yeah, but it would have at least been like appropriate. Yeah, yeah. 
It would have coincided with everything he was saying Feeling, before, yeah. yeah. He had the same shirt on <laughs> that Vincent had. <laughs> oh. His bearded glory. Yeah, he kind of helps him avoid the cops since he's still a fugitive. Oh, yeah. He looks kind of like a duck now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, isn't gonna be my first guess, but <laughs> I guess I could see that. It's like his lips are so prodigious with the way that they look with the beard. See how emphasized oh, his yeah. lips are? That's he looks true. like a duck. That's oh, he doesn't true. actually talk to her. He doesn't have oh. a, He's not man enough to talk to her like Vincent was. That's kind of weak. Yeah. The baby looks like a doll baby. I think the baby looks pretty good, actually. Like, it looks much more realistic than Aloy as the Aloy baby. Mm. Carol, I just want to say that I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for the broken promises and not being there when you needed me. I'm sorry for no longer being the man you fell in love with. My biggest regrets are all the moments we didn't get to spend together. From now on, I don't want to miss a second together with you and our beautiful daughter. If you let me, I'll be the husband you once loved and the father I know I can be. Yours forever, Vincent. So he did actually write the letter, as mm. opposed to... The From his perspective, it looked like it was just his resignation. Right. Yeah. Maybe the letter, yeah, is two completely different things depending on who gets the final cutscene, also. <laughs> Motel. Leo and Linda on the run. Leo and Linda in love! Long lasting love with Leo and Linda! Forever on the run, Leo and Linda. Lick those lips, those big old duck lips! Lick those lips with Leo and Linda! Long lasting love with Leo and Linda! They're on the run, the hotel, in the motel, with the son who still doesn't have a comb. Hey, buddy. Hi. What are you doing in hey. like, not in school? Linda, are you guys ready to leave? We are. Are you sure no one was following you? Yeah, yeah. We're fine. Let's just get going. Are you okay? I am. I'm fine. I got humongous duck lips. How could anything be wrong? But you still love me. And that's the true meaning of love. Wait, now he's a street cop? If he was FBI, he wouldn't have that as his funeral photo, would he? Maybe that was his best photo or something. Here you go, miss. This always is a shitty ceremony. Yeah. It's like, here's the worst reminder ever that you need to know that your, your husband or wife passed away. While holding a baby. That's, that sucks. Emily looks pretty broken up about it, too. Yeah. Like, way more than you should be, I think. Definitely an affair. Yeah, 100%. Guaranteed. Aim. Fire! Talking about the broken Aim. promises. Fire! Aim! Fire! Hey, that was the gun I was using. Hey, Commissioner Gordon made the funeral. I wonder where Batman is. He's with us in our hearts. This is the 70s, so he's a kid. Oh. So maybe he's the baby. <laughs> Bruce Wayne, the female baby. Yeah. Brucina. Drew, Julie Wayne. <laughs> You guys going back to Mexico? Yeah, they have this like giant mansion that no one's using. <laughs> so live in that. Full of holes, but other than that, uh, it's I a fixer-upper opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Just buy it for like 10 pesos or whatever. <laughs> or there's that whole, like, that whole uh, safe full of money, I'm sure. I'm sure he won't mind.
That's it, I guess. Interesting, right. interesting. That was different. I'm surprised he didn't even say anything. Because it's not like they haven't met before or something like that. Say but, something to Carol? Yeah, yeah. I they, guess he was just too concerned with being turned in. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. It's either he was too scared and didn't want to confront her, or... Yeah, he didn't have the stomach to do it. Right. Or, yeah, he was too concerned and looking out for him, number one. And yeah. And didn't want to talk to her for the risk of getting turned in. Yeah. Either way, yeah, it is kind of a strike against Leo. Right. Yeah, definitely. Because at least Vincent had the, like, the cojones to do, like, to say it right to her face. But at the same time, we don't know what, I guess, what he said to her. Like, explain how it happened or whatever. Yeah, we but, don't know if he admitted... Yeah, the actual, he was the one who pulled the trigger. Right. Or if it was something that happened when he was uh, fighting Harvey or whatever. Right. He could have put it completely off on the Harvey thing. Yeah. He could have done it halfway and said, oh, he's definitely dead because of me. It was definitely because of my fault, but not explain the full thing right. where he says, I pulled the trigger. Right, yeah. Or he could have done that, the extreme full version. But either way... I don't know. Certain aspects of the Leo ending made a lot more sense. Like the letter instead of the Broheim handshake makes a hell of a lot more I, sense. Yeah, I like that one way more than just the regular like unspoken Broheim handshake. And then it's like, you know we're cool. It's like, yeah, <laughs> we're cool. Don't mind this bullet in my chest. <laughs> yeah, you threatened to send me to jail. That I was going to hunt you to the end of the yeah. earth for. But you actually killed me. No, oh, we're good. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's like, we all got to do what we got to do. Yeah. I understand. What on earth? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that aspect at all. Oh my god. So certain parts of each ending were better than the other. Because I do like the Vincent manned up and had the conversation. Ferris, Ferris? The Ferris, Ferris, yeah. That's the person that played Leo. Wow. It's Ferris, Ferris. It's really, uh... <laughs> it's really creative with the name. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Ferris, Ferris, Fadis, Fadis, whatever, the f whatever. So the game's pretty fun. The gameplay was great. The music was pretty good on the positive side of things. Yeah, yeah. I like we said before, like the gameplay was was pretty awesome, uh, especially in the beginning, like with all the cool interactable stuff that you could do. And I do like the music. It's nice and calm and relaxing <laughs> after death. <laughs> Yeah, the gameplay was by far the best part of the game. So if oh, you want to okay. play it with a friend, couch co-op or online, whatever, definitely couch co-op I think is the most fun way to enjoy it, but online's still good too. Either way, gameplay is great. Yeah, I definitely like you just sit down with a friend and just basically do stupidity like we did. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time. And at the end, you're forced to kill each other. So yeah, if you exactly. hate your friend... Just or like you... true friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Roboto was a translator. <laughs> I wonder if that's actually a person. I, or an actual robot. <laughs> yeah, from the future, yeah. clearly. <laughs> Came back to translate all of this game and now is running all of humanity. Yeah, with Caleb Tote. He's totes, totes in good with Caleb Tote. Okay, we gotta stop. Yeah, uh, alright, so the gameplay was amazing. Enough about robots and whatever. The yeah. gameplay was amazing, but... Uh, the story, yeah, it really, the story it really took, a, took dive. a dive. Yeah, it really nosedived um, for me at the end there, like significantly. Like there was little parts in between that I was like, uh, I don't, I don't like this part of the uh, the storyline. But I was like willing to forgive it because the gameplay was awesome and the story in the beginning was really interesting. But towards the end there, it just like really dove down sharp for me. I didn't really, I, I didn't understand. The direction that they took that and i don't know for you um what that was like but yeah you can see what the guy joseph faris Josef, however you pronounce it i don't know you can see what he wanted to do he wanted to get to all of these key moments in these guys lives Definitely. all of these hard-hitting emotional high impact scenes the strange part was just it was done like a a poorly done action movie <laughs> where the focus was all on these scenes and all on the high action and the intense moments but he didn't connect the dots well at all it, there was just no logical transitioning yeah. from how he gets to point a to point b to point c he just really wanted to get to those points and to be fair those were cool points mm -hmm. like oh yeah this highway chase and oh yeah 
this river rafting chase and and then he wanted to get to oh then there's a betrayal and then oh no leo turns the tables and he holds him hostage and then they have this final shootout and then there's this moment of reconciliation except those didn't always make sense yeah yeah exactly like there were so many other options that would prove better um in a lot of the choices especially at the end and he like foregone all of them and just kind of left this as the only option even though it really shouldn't have been much of an option to begin with so like i don't see the progression there uh and why they kind of went the way that they did like i understand that he wanted to show this and it's a like like you said it's a cool idea but just the way that it was handled i i just feel like it could have been way way better it had potential for a really awesome um storyline but just the writing i guess didn't take it there yeah, exactly. It had the potential to be amazing if they had used the reveal of Vincent being an FBI agent undercover the whole time to explain some of the other things. They could have used that to connect those dots instead of leaving the dots unconnected and just having it be a disjointed mess of, well, that didn't make any sense. Right. Like, all of the cops that were chasing them on the highway and then suddenly lost them when they get in a dinky rowboat with no motor. Right. They could have shown suddenly a side scene at, like, a post-story flashback Definitely. during the Vincent reveal where yeah. they have Vincent's Commissioner Gordon, his boss, basically calling off the cop chase on the highway. Oh, no, 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 let him go, let him go. Something right. like that so that it makes sense. Right, Then yeah. the story connects and it flows better. Definitely, 100%. I, yeah, I totally agree with that. I think, like, it would have been, like, maybe 30 seconds of a scene to, like, cut to the endings of all of the scenarios that we were in before, but you just see the behind-the-scenes of Vincent being an FBI agent and the police either pulling back or in on it the whole time kind of thing. So you can at least understand why some of the things that we had problems with before, like why they actually happened. Like now it makes sense as to why Leo and Vincent didn't see the cops when they just landed because, I mean, Vincent was in on it the whole time. So like something like that, except for the rest of the game. Right, would have been, for all of the points that didn't make sense. Yeah, exactly. Like for like that to connect the dots would have made this just much better and then you can work on the ending after that. But. Yeah, so it was a missed opportunity. They could have had it an uh, ultimate story that made sense as opposed to Leo's getting off the plane and now they need to get into the situation where Leo has Vincent uh, under his control and he's taking him hostage. But that doesn't make sense, though. If Leo took a freaking nap on the plane and Vincent wanted him in custody, Leo's ass is in handcuffs. <laughs> yeah. That, that, there's just... It doesn't make sense. If they wanted to do that the right way, they would have had to earn that scene. They would have had to make it make sense that right. Leo got the upper hand. Like, maybe Leo just breaks away from the cops at that point, calls Vincent back, and says, Oh, hey, I got your newborn baby, or I've got Carol here. Now you've got to actually come and fight me to the death. Something like that. Because the other part of the ending that didn't make sense clearly was, Why would Vincent be compelled to fight Leo to the death? Right. Yeah. Obviously, Leo wants revenge. He wants to fight him to the death. But Vincent, at that point, he's not. He has no reason to kill him. Right. He shouldn't be trying to shoot center mass. He should just be trying to take out his legs, incapacitate him, and move on. They needed to give Vincent a reason to want to fight to the death. Exactly. And they could have earned that if they had Leo, you know, threaten his family. That seems like the the motivating thing for Vincent. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's obvious, kind of how dear he holds that, and. So, yeah, I completely agree with that. Like, he's an FBI agent, so why would the immediate instinct be to kill and obviously your friend if you're going to broheim, like, like fist bump into at the end there? Right. So, he like, there's obviously they care, but, like, Vincent's reason for killing him just makes zero sense to me. Um, like you said, incapacitating is the name of the game. He's a cop. He wants to, like, put him in custody. That's the end game. You don't just, like, kill him. And then that's like a crap ton of paperwork you got to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, who wants to deal with that? Yeah, mess? exactly. But yeah, they were still friends at that point. From Vincent's perspective, he respected Leo. He was thankful for it. Yeah, he wanted to send him back to prison, but that was just business. It wasn't. Right. Like, he still respected him. He had no reason to want him dead. So exactly. they could have, in order to earn that scene, they would have had to have written that reason into the thing. So, Joseph Ferris, you need a script doctor in the worst way. I mean, I guess you're a talented guy. There's a lot of great things that came out of this game, and the overall story is good, but you need a script doctor. Make your scenes make sense. You have a few connections added to your script, and it makes it flows perfectly, and there's logic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess 
it, most movies, action movies, people aren't looking for that anyway. They don't care. Mm. They're just like, oh, I just want to see explosion, Michael Bay, do do do. Like, no, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> There's still, you can have a good story and good action scenes Definitely, together. Yeah, yeah they're like, not mutually exclusive. Just don't have Leo take a nap on the freaking plane. What the <laughs> hell? He doesn't need to take a nap on the plane. They land, then, like, but, it makes sense that he's not in custody already. Right, yeah. And, okay, you still have to have the scene where it's forced, where Leo gets a gun on Vincent. But at least at, at, at that point, it's not so hokey. Yeah. Like the nap just, it's unnecessary. Right, yeah, yeah, that's so true. Uh, it, like, doesn't really add anything to the story, but it takes away a whole lot from it. So, um, definitely connecting the dots. Like, there was these good ideas and these good concepts, but just the links between them were so... Well, they're basically non-existent, and that just, like, kind of takes you out of it. Yeah, like you were saying with the bro handshake at the very end. If you flip it, on Leo's ending, it made sense. Okay, Leo gets the upper hand. He does want vengeance. He does want blood. He does kill Vincent. No problem with any of this. Right. And then Vincent does want to give him the letter. So that made perfect sense. Yeah, All of that still, flowed well. Exactly, yeah. That, that ending on Leo's side still works because you have, um, like, there's still that mutual respect there, like, regardless of... Leo wanting to kill Vincent like it's obvious that they still have that respect and Vincent actually like gives Leo the the letter which I love that ending way more than I did on Vincent's side because Vincent's just like yeah I, I shot you for no reason and I'm just gonna watch you die and hold your hand while it happens. Yeah the Vincent I, side doesn't work at all yeah. there's no Vincent is not compelled to shoot Leo at that point he would not shoot him right in a critical point exactly. as opposed to disabling him Did, and he wouldn't uh, leo would not suddenly feel like everything was good between the mm -hmm. two of them and give him a handshake it's just neither of those things make sense at all you need to earn those moments definitely 100 percent agree like, in order for the leo reconciliation to make sense it's like okay maybe they're in this shootout and there's still a few of harvey's guys around trying to get revenge and vincent shoots or, and Harvey's guys take Alex, they take Leo's kid, mm, yeah. and Vincent ends up shooting those guys while he's stopping Leo. Leo gets hit in the crossfire. Then Leo is like, okay, fine, everything's forgiven, you saved my kid, right. something like that. Yeah. Then it makes perfect sense, the handshake makes sense. Right, yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> Joseph Ferris, <laughs> <laughs> connect the dots better, buddy. Hire a script doctor if you're not sure how to do it on your own. That's why they exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few improvements. Improvements and the story flows so much better. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like like we said, definitely potential, but kind of missed missed the mark a little bit. So uh, would have liked to see some like deeper, more compelling stuff uh, from the story. But as for right now, it just seems like an unfinished uh, story that kind of got rushed out towards the end. <laughs> yeah, or like a, a completely finished bad Hollywood right. action yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, very true. <laughs> Where nobody pays attention to the, ha ha, explosion. Michael Bay is my hero. I love Michael Bay. Michael Bay. Michael Bay. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> Michael Bay just unsubscribed. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Learn how to freaking uh, write. Make you. a better movie. <laughs> <laughs> Stop destroying everyone's childhood. <laughs> the worst Transformers and Ninja Turtle movie ever possibly oh conceived. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, yeah, Michael Bay is much worse than Joseph Ferris. Got, glad we got that covered. Yeah. He's much wealthier, too, so maybe there's a correlation between maybe. horrible writing and... <laughs> <laughs> we could just be the worst writers ever and just make millions at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Batman walks into a building. And then he dies. He ha has 2,000 hand grenades and pulls all of the pins simultaneously. Everyone in the building is only knocked out because he's Batman and doesn't kill. And Batman just walks out of the explosion. A huge badass. He has this giant, massive armor. He's like, no, 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 uh, you, no. Uh, you're explaining something uh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks out because that's how it is. Oh, he's like totally naked or something. <laughs> he's Except in his he's... usual bat suit. Oh. It's it doesn't catch fire. No, it's not oh. even damaged. Oh, okay. He yeah. he has like a little soot on the side of his cheek. Oh, you know, just to show you that he was actually indeed in that. Yes, yeah. that he willed his way out of the explosion. <laughs> yes, I think. Yeah, that's. That's a million dollar script right there. Yeah. yeah. Batman has a fist fight. He just, he constantly gets hit in the face and he punches everybody. Like, he, it's just Batman versus a thousand people and he just literally punches them all. And out. they all punch him in the face, like right. one by one. <laughs> <laughs> and then he punches them out in one hit. <laughs> and then just has, That's yeah. the whole movie. <laughs> okay, that one's not as good. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, so. 
Uh, yeah, overall, the gameplay was a lot of fun. Definitely fun game to play. If you think too hard about it, or even at all, you're probably gonna notice the story has some plot holes. Definitely, yeah. So sit on a couch and like play this with your friend, and just just enjoy the gameplay. Yeah, I mean it was fun. Like we got to do, just mess around and have fun. Like interactable stuff with like between two people is always is always really cool. And now having a full game around it's awesome. But just yeah, avoid the story. Yeah, gameplay was great. All the co-op stuff was great. The interactions, the optional conversations that both of them could have from their each unique perspective was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to play it and just have a good time, it's worth go for it. Yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> but yeah, like if you want to play it looking for a super compelling story, probably go yeah, somewhere probably else. Probably find something. De else. Definitely go somewhere. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> All right. Yeah. If you guys like have any other games that you want us to check out, you can uh, let us know because we're open to suggestions. Yeah, let us yeah. know and what you want to see, and we'll put it on the show like it was meant to be. And next time we'll see you, we could both be dead. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be dead after this. <laughs> so it was a good, it was a good run. I'll see, well, Rob will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>